Hi, everybody. Sandy here, Scrapbooks Blessings Club, and welcome to our Saturday PJs and Cards uh, card class. So it's 9 o'clock p.m. my time. So it is a little darker here, but I have a ton of lights on, and so hopefully um, lighting will be okay. Um, and I think you'll be able to see everything that I do on my desk okay. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes and see who jumps on, and then we will start our card class. And I also want to see and make sure we are going in the group. So I grab my phone. And I think we're good. Okay. So we are live. So I hope you had a wonderful Saturday. It was a busy Saturday here. We had baseball practice. And then we spent four hours at the pool. So that's why I am a little red. I got a little red. Um, but it was cloud covering. You tend not to think you don't need the sunscreen as much, I guess. Um, so a little red and uh, it was a lot of fun. So I'm just a little waterlogged, just a little. <laughs> but I am excited. Um, on the way home, I was kind of like dozing off in the car. But I knew when I got here, I was going to be all excited to join you guys for the card class. So, and then I don't know if it was a good thing that I had a bunch of carbs because we went to an Italian restaurant for dinner afterwards. <laughs> so if I start falling asleep, just uh, shout out at me. <laughs> now, if this is your first time here, welcome. <laughs> what we do is we do a hour long, half an hour long. We just go as long as we want to, usually up to an hour. And this is a live card class. So I did mention what you would need if you're going to um, make the cards with me. So what you will need is we're going to do three different cards. So you're going to use a regular five and a half by eight and a half. And then you're going to have a five and a half by 12 and a five and a half by 12. Okay, so those are going to be your three card sizes. And I like to start off um, doing a simple and then a medium and then a more uh, advanced card. So kind of going like three stages. So, but today we're going to actually gonna do like three cards and they're kind of all based off of each other. So it's really cool. So I am so glad that you are here. Kendra's here. Yay. Hi, Kendra. Glad you are here. Now, if you have any questions, I need you to put them in capital letters. So I kind of have to, maybe I'll see them better on the chat. And we do have a little bit of delay of for when you guys type and when I get it. So um, I, as I see the questions or comments, I'll try to keep up with those. But it's just me. So usually I have Christina with me, and it's much easier when there's two of us. So now we do have a um, video hop going. Today is the last Saturday of the month. And if you haven't hopped with us before, you want to check those out, you can go to scrapbooksblessingsclub.com for our master post with everybody's videos. And Scrappy for Less is our sponsor. Yay! So you will be entered to win a gift certificate from them if you leave a comment, if you do the hop, and then you comment and do everything I have written there. I have it all written out for you. I promise. So, what time do we got? Nine. We'll give it just a minute or two. Now, I will be using embellishments from the June Flavor of the Month Club for my card here, my cards here. Um, but that kit is sold out. It's sold out in two days. And I know May's kit sold out fast, too. So, if you are interested in the Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month card kit, um, there's like four different... Um, like stages of the kits that you can get and um but it's selling out like hotcakes so it's worth it with the stamps and the embellishments and everything you get it's really worth it so i will be using that and let's get started okay so what you need is your paper you will need a scoreboard i'm going to use the big one because i will be using 12 by 12 if you don't have a scoreboard, that's okay because you can use your paper trimmer. All you're going to do is just lift up your lever part here and you'll score in where you're supposed to cut. You can score there. Or if you have a T-ruler, a ruler, 
then you can kind of get some lines if you do your bone folder. That's a little harder, but it'll give you a couple lines and you can fold. So there's a couple ways you're going to score, but since we are doing a card folding class, you will be doing folding and scoring. So, hi, Tasha. Glad you are here. Awesome. Okay, my girls are here. Tasha and Kendra are both on my design team, and I love them bunches. You have to check out their videos. I'm telling you, these girls are talented. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I think I have everything down on my desk, so I'm going to point you down to the desk, and we'll get going. Now, I have to remember, I am a little bit upside down from you guys, so I will try to remember to turn the cards around. I'm not promising anything. <laughs> okay. So oh, that was a little fast. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Oh, big hands. Okay. Okay, so I have my scoreboard here and I need my bone folder. The one I'm using is Martha Stewart, but you can use ScorePal, you know, whatever kind, any kind would work. But we are going to be doing three cards. Now, if you caught my other class, what I like to do is I actually make templates. And let me show you what I mean by that. I make templates of the cards already, and I keep them all in a box. So that way, let me see if I can pull it. There we go. So that way, um, if I want to do this kind of card, a zero card, a zigzag, I can just pull out this card, and I have all my measurements. There we go. I have all my measurements right here at the bottom, plus where I score and any little notes or anything, okay? And I like to do that for all my cards. So, like, this one is a Zvold card or zigzag. This is what we're going to start out with today. Then we're going to go to this trifold. So, from the Zvold, you can go to the trifold very I mean these are so easy to do and these are actually what I keep in here for my little mats there we go and then from there we're going to go to the accordion card cool and like I said down at the bottom I have let me here I just put what it is and where I got a score and all that fun stuff so it makes it easy and then like I said I just keep them all together like this and I keep them all in a box. And when I want to do a card, especially if you're doing a harder card, like the pop-out card, it's really good to have a template. Okay, so let's start with the Z-fold or zigzag. Now, this is the easiest card to do. So these are cards that if you don't want to do just the basic folded in half, send out a card, but you want something with a little bit of um, pizzazz. <laughs> then you want to go ahead and do um, something easy like this. Now, a couple girls, what do we say here? Let's check real quick. Hender says, I really should start making templates, but it's way too much fun watching my super old cringy work, <laughs> cringe worthy videos. <laughs> the templates, and then Tasha does templates too. The templates are purely for speed. It's when you would just want to go ahead and hurry up and, make the template without trying to go back and find the card <laughs> that's what makes it easy or here's the best one you're making a card with somebody and they're like well what was that measurement so all you have to do is just take the card out and throw it across the table at them <laughs> and say here that's what it looks like <laughs> okay so the z fold card is really easy you actually don't even need um or zigzag, however you want to call it. You don't really even need a scoreboard for this, but we will use one. Um, but So you're just going to go ahead and score your card right down the middle. So let's see here. We have eight and a half, so we're going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay, so card in the hat and right, right down there in the middle. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to score the middle of your front panel. And that actually comes to two and an eighth. And how to find your eighths is if you look here, each one of these little dots are an eighth. So I'm going to go two and I'm going to count to one, which is going to put me right there. And that is an eighth. Now, if you don't have a scoreboard, all you have to do is fold it in half. Boom. 
and then fold, take the front panel and fold it back. And you just line it up and take your phone folder and crease. There it is. Now, if I put it up here, you will see, voila, two and one eighth. So you can either score it two and one eighth, four and a quarter, or do just what I did. So easy. So this is the first card here, and that is our Z fold. And the reason they call it Z is because it's supposed to look like a Z. I've also seen it called an S fold card or a zigzag card. And it still measures at the A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so easy. So that is the basic, basic card. Now we're going to go up and go up a notch. And for that, we're going to take our card base here. I'll flip it around so you can kind of see. And we're going to, here I'll put up, I know they're really easy for, yeah, great cards. Um, now this is going to be the trifold card, okay? Now in order to do the trifold card, you have to do it a little bit different. You have to have start off instead of a 11, eight and a half by 11 size piece of paper, you will need a 12 inch. So it's going to measure five and a half by 12 inches. So you're going to take a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and measure five and a half. So you can get two cards out of a 12 by 12. Okay. Now this is also another easy one because there's only two score lines for this one too. Let me pull it here. Two score lines. And that is at four inches and eight inches. So you're going to score this one at four and eight. And we'll fold it. Now I like to fold my cards both ways just so it's nice when I'm opening. Now you can keep it like this if you want as a trifold card. So but when you open it up, you have your one panel, two panels. So this is really cool because you can decorate it and then you have a surprise decoration and then you have your sentiment and where you can sign your card or whatever. So this is your trifold card. Now say you want to notch that, bump that up a notch. Very, 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 very easy. All you're going to do is just turn around and you're going to find the middle here which is going to be two and three quarters. So I'm just gonna put a little notch there. See it right there, right there. Just a little notch so I know where it is. And now what I'm gonna do is take my paper trimmer. And I'm gonna take my paper trimmer and I'm going to line up that little notch with the bottom corner of my paper. So I'm lining up the middle notch and I'm just twisting my paper and I know it's a little hard to see because um, the camera is close but when I after I cut it I'll show you uh, I'm just lining it up give me a sec he, doing it on the fly oh heck that's close enough okay now this is what I will have, and let me show you. Okay, so this is what I did, is I went ahead at three and a quarter, well, I'm a little off, but that's okay, because I really couldn't see, all the way to the bottom corner here. The small piece of paper, I'm gonna get rid of. I don't need that. Now, when I fold it, Well, uh, look at how cool that is. Love it. So now you have a trifold that actually does the zigzag. Okay. Really cool here. Anybody done these, shout out. If you're if these, um, you're used to doing cards like these, let me know. Now, another way you can do this, instead of having it go slanted here, you're going to take your paper your piece of paper, 
I need to hold on. I gotta cut this down to five and a half. I'm gonna show you one more way to do that trifold card. Get rid of that. Here I be. Okay. So do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to score it at four inches. And I'm going to score at eight inches. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. This time we're going to use a piece of pen, uh, pencil so I can actually see the line. And I'm going to mark it off at two and oh, two and a quarter. Two and blah, 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 blah. Mark it off at two and three quarters. Do as I do, not as I say. <laughs> Now, this time, instead of what I'm going to do, and you can kind of see it here, this is where my template is. See, I, I started here and I went all the way to the top. I'm actually going to stop right here and go down to the two and three quarter mark. And let me show you what you get when you do that. So just by changing the cut a little bit, and I'm going to do the same thing, kind of see, I'm going to match it up. Match it up here, and I'm going to match it up right here at the score mark, and kind of twist it on the diagonal. Oh, heck, that's good enough. Match it. Hold on, I lost my, <laughs> I lost my blade. This is what I love doing live, because <laughs> if it was on YouTube, I just edit that out. <laughs> Okay, so match that up, and I'm going to match that to the score line, and I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so that's what I cut off. I'll turn around so you can see. Ba -ba -bum. There you go. And so now this piece here, we're going to get rid of. We don't need that. And then I can fold this the way I had I did the last card. Okay. And now I have this zigzag, but I have this card, this um, straight piece. So either way you want to do it. Boom, boom. Here you go. So there are the two ways. If you want it straight like an A2 card, or if you want a little bit geometric, for some pizzazz. <laughs> so either way. <laughs> but I'm going to show you um, how why I do this way. I do this way for I have a reason for my madness. There's a purpose reason. Okay, so we did the zigzag. Then we went up to the trifold, which went that way. And then we did a zigzag trifold, and then this was just the option A and B. Now we got one more. So you kind of see how I started basic, went to the next level, went to the next level. Okay, so I'm going to need the same thing again, which is going to be five and a half by 12 inches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the accordion card. Now, the reason why it's a courting card is because it's not a trifold, because trifold gives you three panels. Try three. A courting is anything that's over three folds. So, as you can see here, I have one, two, three, four folds. Okay. And I'm going to grab out my pink paper. And I have my handy dandy cheat here that tells me exactly where I need to score it. And so I'm going to score at four and a quarter, six and three quarter. And I will have all these measurements over on the Scrapping, uh, Scrapbook Blessings Club, um, along with uh, coordinating YouTube videos. And so if, I, if this seems like, oh, my gosh, her class is going so fast and I can't keep up, um, that's no problem. I will have all that for you. Okay, so four and a quarter, six and three quarters, nine and a quarter, 
and 10 and 5 eighths. And remember, the 5 eighths is each little dash. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 and 5 eighths is right there. Okay, and then when I fold this and go the other way, I'm just going back and forth with my folding and bring it back. And voila, there is my accordion fold. Pretty cool. Now, with the accordion fold, <laughs> you can bump and change this one up also. What I can do, instead of having just the plain accordion fold, I can do a stairway accordion. And this is the last one I'm going to show you. For a stairway accordion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure down one inch for the middle panels. And then I'm going to go two and a quarter inches for the first two, the end panels. And then I cut this out. When you do that, you're going to get a little different of a look. And as a matter of fact, oh, what the hey, we'll do it now. Okay, so I'm going to come down one inch. Let's go this way in the corner here. So I'm going to come down one inch, which is going to put me right here. And then I'm going to come down to two and a quarter inches, which is going to put me right there. And then if I draw a line going across, and then I draw a line going across here, I'm going to cut this part and this part out. Now, by all means, you can go ahead and get out your paper trimmer and do this. But for time and because I like to take shortcuts, I'm just going to cut. So I'm cutting up to the middle panel and I'll cut that out. Get rid of that. And then I'm going to cut this one here. After you've been doing these for 10 years, you just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> I don't know. I just throw that number out. Okay. Now, when I fold this, check it out. Now, when I fold it, I have the stair step. Love it. Okay. So, what do you guys think? As a matter of fact, hold on. I got to do it the other way. It was backwards for me. <laughs> So there is the stair step or stairway, however you want to call it, gate for our accordion card. So we have three templates. Now, if you have any questions, let me know. This is the time, Q&A. Um, and I'm going to put these away because we are going to decorate them. That's what I love. The first half hour, we do, you know, what the folds are. And then the second half hour, I just sit and chat, chit chat with you while I decorate. So let me look over to the comments and see what I've missed. Um, so Tasha said, I do these. Love card folds. Awesome. Card folds is my passion. I love to do card folds. Um, I love that even more than coloring and scrapbooking and all that. Um, welcome Sharon. Sharon from Kentucky is here enjoying this on carfolds. Awesome. Welcome Sharon. And Kay wrote, I forgot. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> no problem, Kay. Better late than never. <laughs> uh, Kendra said, oh, wow, I have not seen that one before. So cool. I think that was that the stair one. That that is a cool one. It's just, just another way to make it just a little bit different when you give it to somebody. Get that wow factor. And then Tasha said, awesome. And then we have Lourdes. Oh, I'm new. Thank you. Awesome. Welcome. I am so glad you're here. Okay. 
So those are the three cards. Now I'm going to take these and put these to the side. And we're going to do some decorating. Awesome. Okay, so I can get rid of the scoreboard. I don't need that anymore. Now, like I told you, if you have um, any kind of embellishments for my card classes, I don't like to do coloring. I, I get embellishments already made. And so I have from the um, Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month, June card kit. I have some embellishments here. They do stickles, um, not stickles, sequins, die cuts, all that. Kendra says fancy schmancy car folds. Haha, <laughs> you can charge extra. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> awesome. And then I do have some lawn fawn stamps. Check out how cool, not that one, how cool these are. The kiddos, um, when we went on vacation, I stamped these out and they colored them with some gel pens and Prismacolor pencils. And then the other night, I was on YouTube watching YouTube videos and cutting. <laughs> so I cut these all out by my little old own hands. And I have to say it was a little bit of a pain. <laughs> But I don't have any of those fancy spanchy machines that will um, cut them out for me. I need to invest. My birthday is coming up. So if anybody wants to buy me a birthday gift, um, I will take the shirt or the cut thingy or the Cricut Air. You know, you can send that to me. I'll, I'll give you my address. This <laughs> So, oh, here, get this, some more stickers. Look how cute these are. I am actually loving these. I did another card, our challenge for June, and I didn't put this up yet. I'll give you a sneak peek, is um, step cards. So I got to put this one up in our pin post. Look at how cute that is. You are jawsome. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I mean, I think they did a good job. Kendra says you have some future Bob Rosses on your hands. <laughs> I think so. I think they did a fabulous job. Here, this one was kind of thrown in the mix. They were definitely creative. They used colors that I wouldn't have even um, thought of. <laughs> I like this one. Like flaming red hair. I did this one. I did, I'll did. i show you the two I did. I did this one and I did this one. Boring. <laughs> and, and then the kids did these. I'm like, oh, I did do, I did, uh, I did this one. Never mind. <laughs> I did one. Okay. Tasha said, oh, my love, the step card you created for the challenge. I, I think so this one I'm going to do, um, I love stuff cards. I have to admit, though, I, I am going to do a video. Oh, I'm kind of out of focus. There we go. Sometimes when you have a lot of weight, you lose focus. I am going to do a card class on how to do a step card. But this is this is a little bit of cheating. I have the Sizzix. Here, I'll pull it out so I'll show you. In full transparency and disclosure. I have the Sizzix um, step card die, <laughs> and I just ran it through my machine. So <laughs> that's all. It it's actually has hearts, but I use the hearts to put the. Uh, I use the hearts to put the. Uh, oh, the die cuts on. There we go. Kay asked, "Why is it so shiny?" <laughs> that is. Um, that's the way that these stickers are. These stickers are like a glossy. They have like a glossy shine to them. And when the light is hitting them, they are shiny. I know. I was thinking the same thing. This does look like something on a cereal or something like a restaurant mascot. <laughs> But I'm, I'm, one of my goals is try to make more 
boy cards. I don't have enough boy cards. So I want to try to make some boy cards. But that's why it's shiny. And of course, if you don't know by now, I am addicted to stickles. And so I stickled the heck out of them. So this is what they look like. And then I asked and I do the stickles and I did his tooth and his hat. And yeah, I like stickles. Now these ones already came um, glittery out of the kit. Look how cute those are. Okay, so let's get started. Welcome, Jamie. They are cute. Okay, so these are my templates, and I'm going to put my templates off to the side, put them in my template box so I don't lose them. And there we go. Fold them. Sharon loves stickles too. Sharon, I am addicted to stickles. There was a hashtag card maker tag that I did. It's over on my YouTube channel. And it said, what is the one thing? So I'll ask you guys. What is the one craft um, item that you have? What's your fetish? For me, it's the stickles. I have a huge box. You want to know how bad it is? I just got my order from Scrapping for Less. It came today. And um, this is what I ordered. <laughs> came in order. I didn't have that color of the Nuvo Crystal Drops. And I got three of the diamond stickles. <laughs> and I did get a new Wink of Stella in the clear, um, the clear, whatchamacallit, clear gloss, clear glitter. That's what I'm calling it. I couldn't think what I was calling it. Okay, need to make a guy card for Renee. Yeah, guy cards are kind of they're they're kind of hard for me. I don't know why. I I tend to do more of the girl cards than I do guy cards. So maybe that's why I like this kit so much because it's making me do the guy cards more. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and decorate. Let's do the C fold. Now the Z fold, C Z fold. Jamie likes the Wink Stella. I love Wink Stella. I have this is my third pair of the two two glitter clear glitters that I have. So this will make my third one. And I did see on YouTube that there is a way that we can extend the life if you put a little bit of alcohol in them. I just haven't done that yet. So I'm going to give it a try if it works. I'll make that one of our Tuesday techniques and show you guys how to do that. Okay, so I have my C fold card here. Now, when I do this card, I I like to keep it nice and easy. So let me grab. This is a cute piece of paper. This came in the kit. This cute little mermaid and fishy paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and mat this first. And I am so going to cheat and do my fast matting. If you watched any of my videos, um, instead of pulling out my trimmer. Where'd my scissors go? There we go. Instead of pulling out my trimmer, I'm just going to go ahead. And what I do is take a little bit of a dollop of glue, just a little. And I'm going to line this up on where I want the mat to be. So I'm going to go around about that much. So there and there. And then I flip it over and I cut. And try not to move it. And try to get in the camera so you can see. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to cut that there. Actually, this one I can cheat because see the uh, the lines in the green. I could just follow the lines. Cheat. <laughs> okay, so there. This is my mat here. I'm going to take this one here 
and just do the same thing. I'll cut this part off at the, across the top. And I'm just going to trim off just a little bit. Now, if this makes you nervous, by all means, grab out your paper trimmer. There we go. And then I will glue that down. And I do have um, one here in the middle, so I can take and so cheat. I'm just going to put this one on top because I know they are the same size. And cut. There we go. And cut across the bottom. There we be. Okay, so I can do that one, that one, and that one. So let me glue this down real quick. And this is just a quick mono, what is it, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I'm not really picky about my... I'm not really picky about my glue. <laughs> well, I have to say, if I am doing a, um, like my wall hanging that I did, these two, let me show you. These two here that I did for the Scrapbooks Blessings Club uh, hop, which is this one. So if you haven't hop, go hop. <laughs> go do the video hop. And then this one I did as a design team. Um, assignment for scrapping for less and they both use the june card kit i use score tape on those because the score tape um gives me that little extra hold since those are going to go up on the wall in my girl's bedroom my girls share a bedroom and we are in the process of repainting and decorating they're getting out of the um Disney princess more into butterflies or I don't know more something like that they haven't quite yet decided but the paper was too cute I could not resist so they got mermaids <laughs> I have a feeling their whole bedroom might be a revolve around mermaids okay there we go. Okay, so there I'm at it, my card. Very cool here. Now, what I like to do with these cards is take out, oh, um, let's see, this came in the kit. Oh, this one's perfect. Right here with a piece of cardstock. We'll use, let's see, right here. Check it out. Mermaid Kisses Starfish Wishes. How cute is that? Okay, so I'm just going to line that up like so. And I'm going to cut, and I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to cut it. I've kind of been doing this for a long time. So I, I for the most part, got them, can get them even. But you can cheat. Let me see. If you're not sure that you got it even, all you have to do is take out your corner punch. And it kind of holds if your uh, lines aren't straight, straight. You kind of hide it like that. So check it out. <laughs> I know. I just so cheated there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the middle here. But I'm only going to glue down the one side. You do not, if you're going to do this, you do not glue down the other side. Because then you won't be able to open up your card. Okay, so we're going to put that there in the minute, in the middle. How cool is that? Love it. Then what I can do is just take a piece of white cardstock and I will put the white cardstock in so it lines up. And when I open it, you'll see the white cardstock with the sentiment. So to finish this out, I will take one of my brand new 
stickles. Love my stickles. And then bling my card. So I think I'm going to go ahead and bling out the word kisses. And wishes. I like diamond because if you can see, the color comes through. Look how, like, you, you don't hide any of the color. And you get a ton of little shimmer. Now, Stickles does not hold, um, if you want something to hold uh, its shape, the Nuvo crystals will hold the shape. The Stickles will dry flat. And we'll put a couple of the fishies and the octopuses, jellyfish, and I'm just going to kind of stickle them up. What little girl would not like this card? I swear, I would like this card. Now, if somebody wanted to give me this card, I'd be very happy with it. <laughs> cool. And do a couple of the little bubbles. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what do you guys think? I don't know. I'm going to see if I can get the color so you can see it better. Okay, so here we go. Do, 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 do. I love how it turned out. Okay, so that is your zigzag card or Z fold card because of the C or S fold card. I've, I've seen them mentioned all three ways. Now, from there, we went on to these next ones, which is our trifold, which is these two. Now, I wanted to show you why I like to do the straight edge on the top more so than the geometric edge. The geometric edge is really cool if you're going to give this out to a kid. I mean, they like anything a little bit different. But if you're going to do an adult, I like to do this card because... And let me pull it out here. I like to use my punches on this card. And let me show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock. Actually, no, let's grab, a, grab my scoreboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch this card. Okay, so before I do this, let's see what anybody wrote. Um, Jamie wrote, you can put water in them and use them as a water brush, too. Oh, she was talking about the stickles. Oh, my gosh, Jenny, Jamie, that is a fabulous idea. I never thought of that. Awesome idea. So I need to save them when they're empty and uh, use them for water brushes. Very cool. Um, Sharon wrote, my little card group is so OCD that they would have to get their cutters out. I tried using those scissors to make the fancy edges for a card and they all wanted to use the edge. But <laughs> so now I uh, quit cutting for your group. <laughs> Pull out that trimmer. Thank you, Kay. Super cute. These are coming out cute. Thank you. Okay. So now we're on to our next card. How are we doing time wise? I think we're doing good. Okay. I want to do a punch with this. Now, when you do a punch with this card, it is a little tricky. You're not going to want to punch it this way. You're actually going to want to flip it around and punch it this way. And the reason why is because I need to know where this punch is going to line up. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch straight across. And I'm going to start at this corner and punch let's see if you can see oh here we go i'm going to start at this corner and punch to the edge and so i want to line this up right there and squeeze and the reason i picked this punch is because it kind of reminded me of seashells and then i'm going to go ahead line it up again and squeeze See how that's working out and then do it one more time line it up and 
and um, makes it just a little trickier. That's why I said just a little trickier and squeeze. Okay, so there is my punch for the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my zigzag punch. Now the trickiest part is this top corner here. So lining this up, I'm going to bring this bottom corner of my punch and try to get it as close to the middle as I can. And I'm going to kind of tilt it towards me. Sorry, but I need to be able to see. <laughs> And then I'm going to punch that. And then from there, this is no problem. I prefer to see this little piece because I can just cut it off. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to punch down the rest of the way. And for that, I can, if I want, flip it around and punch it um, normal if you want either way i know it's concentration so how many people think if they're at a card class it would be dead silence right now <laughs> if you were in a room have you ever gone to one of those and it's like so quiet because everybody's concentrating? <laughs> and so I'm just lining it up as best as I can. I'm just kind of taking it. Now, when you do this, you just kind of take your time because this is a little tricky, but it's so worth it. It's going to give you such a cool look. Okay, last one. Cool look. Okay, now I can get rid of this because I have all my little pieces and put them in the trash and flip my card around. Check it out. Voila. What do you guys think? Is it worth it or no? Something you would do or ugh, she took too much time on it. <laughs> okay, so then when I fold it, that is the look that I get. So this is why I like to do it with the straight edge across. This one I tend to do more for kids because I don't take the extra time to punch out. So either way, these are your trifold. So awesome. Now what I think uh, this is fun, but I'm going to go ahead and decorate this one. <laughs> Okay, so Sharon really likes it in case that's so pretty by would end up messing it up. No, you wouldn't, Kay. You wouldn't mess it. Just take take your time. And it's only paper. And the scores are at four inches and eight inches. So even if you did mess it up, you can make it like that, you know, redo it. But it just takes some time to to line up your punches. Okay, so let us see what I have here. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, what you can do is you could take, oh, flowers. You can take um, a heart punch, you know, a, like a heart or a flower punch like this one, you know. And you can go ahead and do a whole bunch of hearts and glue them. And so wouldn't that look cute with like the hearts going zigzag? Like very cute. So you don't have to do the punch. You can go ahead and uh, embellish. Or if you want, you can put some, you know, put some embellishments across the top. Or I'm just showing you. Of course, you wouldn't use embellishments like these on a pretty card <laughs> but look how cute that will look and then um i don't know something like that okay so what i'm going to do here is let me see over here if i want to stack i'm looking to see what i have here to decorate now i do want to do some matting Um, do I want to do, oh, that would look cute. What do you guys think? What do you think? 
Kay likes that idea too. I, yeah, that would be an easier way to do it. You don't have to do the punches. You can just put some embellishments across the top. How cool. I've seen flowers. I've seen hearts. Um, if I remember, I, I'll see about a couple pictures of other cards that I did. I did a whole space one. I'll look for that one and I'll tag you on it, Kay. I, 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 I did the space one, which was really cool. Um, Tasha says you gave me an idea. Good. Yay. <laughs> uh yellow and blue okay yellow and blue it is i like it kind of like the the wavy the waves look i don't know very cool okay so i'm gonna measure this so this is still gonna measure this is at 12 inches um 12 by five and a half so let me get out my paper trimmer It decided to fall on the floor. <laughs> and this little puppy keeps popping out. Okay. So because I want the mat and I want the yellow to pop up and pop through, I'm actually going to measure this a little smaller than the um, 12 inches across here. And make it a little shorter. So instead of being 12, well, I can still do 12 inches. I'm going to measure it at five. It's five and a quarter. Hold on one second. I need to measure my new measurements because I took off that top. So one, two, three, four, five inches. So let's go four and three quarters. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece four and three quarters straight along. And then I want to make this a little smaller. I'll do it as I do the panels. Four and a quarter. And these measure four inches each. So I'm going to make these three and three quarters. So it's three and three quarters. So there is one. And there's two. And one more. And there we go. Okay. Now when I fit this in here, I'll be able to put it down. And as you can see, you will see the yellow all the way around. Now, this one is going to be a little tricky because, check it out, you still need to do it on the diagonal. And the same with this one. When I cut this, I need to cut it so that it's cutting on the diagonal. So I'm going to cheat for these. The same way that I did for the other. I'm going to go ahead and measure. Where's my pencil? Give me my pencil. I'm going to measure this one. If you look here, this one is going to come up one inch, two inch, and a quarter. So I'm actually going to measure two inches. So let me go ahead and measure two inches and notch it so I know where I'm going. And then putting these together, I'm going to go ahead and cut on the diagonal. So from this corner to here. So I guess the easiest way to do these would be to um, not cut them in the first place. But <laughs> that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down here get rid of these and now these should match up no problem okay so there's one and then this one here i'm going to match up oh check out what happened <laughs> i'm gonna have to go with the green <laughs> because it was the other way because i had to flip flop it okay and then what I'll do is I will put the green on this side. And so this is the way my card is going to look. Check it out. Okay, I 
really, really, really like that. I think that came out cute. I'm liking that. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and tape that down. So I guess that's why you want to do a um, double-sided pattern paper. <laughs> okay, so that one I'm going to put there. Awesome. That came out perfect. This one I'm going to tape with the blue. And put that one there. Very cool. And then this one I'll put the green on. And just go ahead and tape it down. How are we doing on time, girls? Okay, we are one minute shy for an hour. One minute, one minute. If you have any questions, just jot them down, put them in capital letters, um, all caps. So I definitely know that's a question, so I don't miss it. Okay, so my matting for the card is done. So all I have to do is add my embellishments. And let's see, what do I want to embellish with? Well, I don't think I want to go pirate. And I did do, oh, check it out. What do you guys think? If I do the little, I'm liking that, the green and blue. So let's add the little flower here. Okay, and flip it around. Cute. Okay, and that was just a stamp and colored with Prismacolor pencils. And I'll bling that up. Then when I come down here, we'll have to put something here. What do I want to put here? What do we have here in the thing? Um, I'm going to see. Well, let's go with a happy birthday. We'll, we'll do a happy birthday sentiment here. Cool. And then I want to do something little here. What do I want to do? Oh, I know what I can do. Those new Nuvo crystals I just got from Scrapping for Less that came today. Well, why don't we use those? Cool. <laughs> okay. I mean, come on. You cannot. Get, I love when happy quinkity dinks happen. Now, what's cool about the Nuvo crystals or Nuvo draw? What are they called? Nuvo. Oh, this is a glow drop. Oh, I think this one, what is it? Glows in the dark. <laughs> okay, so my card can glow in the dark. But it's going to hold its shape. Look at that. So you just basically made, I made like, let me pull it up, like beads. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay. And to finish it off i'm going to bling it out because i like to do my bling and i think for my bling what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the water in the jar and just do some cool 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 okay we'll go across here and i think i'm going to do just a little bit on the flowers, just a couple places. Cool. Okay, what do you guys think? Here is card number two. And then, because you know I'm not done yet, I'm going to go in the pattern paper and kind of follow, follow the swirls. Awesome. And go down that way and down this way. Oh, how cool. <laughs> okay, just a couple. Okay. So I like this a lot. Very cool. Okay, guys, that is it for me. So there's a, I think, let's see here. We have. Well, we're, we're at our hour. 
And we had openness. How many did we have? I think the most we had that joined their club was 11. I think I saw at one point and there's three of us left <laughs> and that's okay because an hour, that's usually what I expect. You know, that that's cool. That's fine. Um, but I don't know if you want me to do the other card. We still have the um, accordion card to do. So we got this one decorated, which is the Z fold card. And we got the tri fold card done and so i'm really liking how these come out i like it when a good plan comes together then we have this card here which we could do it's pink somehow i still manage not to do a boy card <laughs> i don't know how that worked out oh but look at this cute paper i have check it out it's really cute um pink pinky whales Okay, do you guys want to see one more card or are you done? I'm going to leave it totally up to you. Yeah, the glow in the dark. Um, I forgot this was glow in the dark. How cool is that? Okay, so let's see. Kendra says, I vote for doing another one if you had the time. I had the time. Um, the kids are upstairs doing reading, watching, playing on nooks, and Chris is watching a movie upstairs. So it's just me and my lonesome. It's just me with you guys. <laughs> what better way to spend a Saturday, a Saturday night, I swear. What I am noticing on these Nouveau crystals though, is the top is black, whereas the normal ones are um, diamonds. So how cool is that? Okay, so Kay says, I will stay if you have the time. I have the time. Okay, so girls, it's us three. If anybody jumps in, or, um, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so let's go with the accordion. So we got the um, this one, and we got this one. I'll put these off to the side because the stickles are drying. And put them so they don't fall. Because nothing worse than having your card done, and then it falls on the floor and the stickles get messed up. <laughs> Okay, so we have the accordion card. Now, this is the accordion um, stair, um, stair card where I went ahead and cut. So we need to mat this. And I do like the whale mat. I think these are very cute. Very cute. So I am voting that we go with the whales. And I might need another piece of paper. Okay. Kay's going to grab a cheese stick. Grab me one too. <laughs> I don't know. I think when I'm set and done, I think I might sit down and watch a little bit of the tube and with a little bit of ice cream, a little cup of ice cream. <laughs> okay. Tasha says, cute. Love the paper. Okay. We're going to go with this. This came out of the kit. And I'm thinking to cut this down and mat this okay so i'm going to show more of the pink because i want to get my paper okay so i'm going to flip this over and cut now doing it this way is not for the faint of heart because sometimes you don't get straight lines <laughs> Okay, yeah, the doodle bug paper. This one is. Hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. Is this one the doodle bug paper? Let me grab. I have to grab the scrapping for less. They tell you what is in the kit. This is so cool. It it like gives you, um, jelly bean. Echo Park? I think this is the mermaid one. I have it on the our, our uh, Scrapbooks Blessings Club. I think this one is Echo Park. Mermaid fun. Mermaid something. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Well, since it's just us, I'm doing it upside down. <laughs> it's not easy doing a card upside down. 
going to be upside down for you, right side for me. <laughs> okay. As I say that, and then I'm going to put the paper upside down. How cute is that? Love it. Okay, then I want to do this one here. Oh, I do like these. What do you think about the um, sea fit, the seahorses? I like the seahorses too. Um, let me see here. Oh, I have another one here. Hold on. Let me show this one. Look how cute these came. I think like all of these came together. This and then that one was just the, the red and the white and the stars. This one here. Look at how cute. I love these colors. I'm, I'm such in these springy colors. I'm really liking like the springtime colors. So which one? Tasha says super cute. Which one? Um, what would you say, Kendra? I've been watching people taking Doodle Bug 6x6 and seeing how many cards they can make with them. I know. You know who likes Doodle Bug? <laughs> I'm pointing at you like you're in front of me. <laughs> you're right there. You know who likes doodle, doodle Bugs? Um, Stacy, who just joined our um, group. She absolutely, positively, 100%. Loves, 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 loves Doodlebug. I know, like, Scrapping for Less had a special flash sale. And I literally could not get anything from, um, let me go over across. I couldn't get anything in Doodlebug on a thing because she kept taking it. <laughs> she kept buying it. I was like, girl, share the wealth. I want Doodlebug, too. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. There we be. And glue this one down. They look like Easter mustaches from here. <laughs> no, I promise they're not. They're little itty bitty. Let's see if you can see. See, they're little itty bitty whales. Look how cute. Little whales. Okay, I'm going to put that one in that panel there. And then in this, oh, guess what? Now that's a little bit. And we'll put a die or something die dainty there. Okay. So there we go. I don't know. Should I do the seahorses too? Maybe do the seahorses in the last panel. Eh. Okay. Kay says, ooh, I was there that night. They were so fast. I know, Kay. Okay. So she had a flash sale from the store and she was just putting stuff down in the facebook group that was for the flash sale and people were just snapping up you just hit i want it one please mine whatever with my computer for some reason i was so slow i put one and like three people ahead of me already um said mine so i lost it i actually got these soccer stickers these were like a quarter a piece and because everybody else felt bad for me <laughs> Tasha says I was at the sale also I was too slow seriously Jessica Tanya they felt so bad for me I think that's how I got the uh, glow in the dark I think I got this at the sale um, because they felt so bad for me they were like oh Sandy you could have <laughs> I was like thank you this was another one there was like two and somebody got it and I'm like, oh, I really want one. And she's like, we have another one. I'm like, I want it. But then like another person, I think Tanya, I don't know. Somehow I ended up snagging it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and grab something here. I'm looking at the sheet that came out, all the little embellishments. I like the little fishy embellishments. Those are cute. There is a little... Well, and I will have the mermaids too. What do you guys think about using the mermaids? The only thing is, is when I do it, I kind of want to fold the card down. They said, oh, let's Sandy. <laughs> they did, Kay. They're like, let's Sandy. I, I mean, it was bad. 
Kendra says, I didn't look. I'd be too tempted to spend money I don't have. You, I mean, the deals were so good, you really were. Like, seriously, she had paper packs for like a six by six for $2. Um, yeah, they, they were really, and then she did these flash sales where they she go live with Kim. It was really cool. It was really, really cool. Okay, so I think I want to do a, a mermaid. I'm going to do a mermaid. What do you guys think about the mermaid? Put the mermaid up here like she's, I don't know, like she's saying hello. Hello, everybody. I'm a little pretty mermaid. So we're going to put the mermaid down. I'm just using that. I'm so cheating. Oh, and then we have this cute little, oh, here's another little whale. Look at the, check out the whale. Should you, this is, okay, it's Let's Be Mermaids from Echo. Um, Let's Be Mermaids by Lori Whitlock, for Echo Park Paper Company. So these came in the kit with the paper. So these match this paper. So that's how she did that. So that was really cool. So we'll put this little whale going here. Cute. And then let's see here. Oh, there's a cute little fishy. So we'll go with the little fishy. I'm trying to pick out different colors too. Oh, here's a little yellow fishy. We can do the fishy this way. Cute. Show us the other stickles. Oh, a stickers. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Oh, here. <laughs> they came out with this cute, these cute little banners, and then you had the octopus, the seaweed. Yeah, look at the seaweed's cute. The castle. Um. Little fishy borders. Um. The turtles cute. The dolphin. These are so cute. And the mermaid. Now the reason why this side is crinkly is because this fell on the floor and the kids decided to roll over it with the chair. Needless to say, mommy was not happy two days ago. They got yelled at. <laughs> like, man, um, where is that seaweed? Oh, there's the seaweed. Like the little thingy. Oh, I like the day. Okay, here we go. Good idea, Kay. So let's put the seaweed in here at the bottom on this one. Oh, I know they're kind of big, but I'm having fun. <laughs> like the little fishy in the seaweed. I know that is a little big, huh? Let's pull it off. So if I opened it up, it would be like, oh, look, a surprise. We have a whale. I wasn't expecting the whale. So there, I'll put a whale. <laughs> there we go. I'll put the whale in there. How cute is that? Look at that. Okay, so there's the fishy with the seaweed. And there is there. And there is my mermaid. And, oh, I like this one. Here, it says, there's a sentiment here. Mermaid. And put that mermaid at the bottom there. And there was a, what you call it, says, I want to be a mermaid. Cute. Okay. So we have that and that. And then we need something for here. So I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The ocean is calling. Dream. The little banners. I guess I don't have to put anything. It needs some waves. Okay. We want wave. Oh, I have this little swirly. She doesn't really have waves on here. I'm looking. I'm looking. So this is the, now this is the part that it's, it's like, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I can do some more fishies or some seashells. Oh, here's a cute little seashell. Put the little seashell there at the bottom. Cute. Oh, and there's a little starfish. I can add the little starfish. Cute. And one more thing. Oh, look at how cute the little jellyfish. There's a swiggly. Oh, add the little jellyfish. Okay. I don't know. I was just having fun with this card. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so when you open it up, there you have it. Cute. And then I'll put my I'll put a little piece of cardstock. Um and here we go. We'll do a little piece of white cardstock and I'll stamp something later. Oh, made that a little big. Let's try that again. And cut it there. Oh, cut it a little bit more. Cut, cut. There we go. Cute. And I will glue that down, and then I can do something. The kids can put their name on it or whoever they give it away to. Or happy birthday. Palm trees. I don't know. Something cute. And then to finish it out, I will grab the stickles. Might as well. I've stickled everything else. Might as well do this one. And we'll do some stickles. And do some stickles there. And the fishy. And we'll go down here. I like doing the stickles. <laughs> stickles makes me happy. And we'll do the little tentacles on the jellyfish. I guess that's what you call them, tentacles. And then the mermaid, too. We'll do her little thing there, her little bra. And we'll go give her some little swigglies for, like, fins and do there. Okay. Oh, last but not least, we got to do the whale. We can't forget him. Okay. So there we go. <laughs> not yet done. You got to add the bling. You got to add the bling. Okay. So there is the step accordion card. Do, do, do. Cute. And then this here was the zigzag trifold that we did a zigzag trifold on. That one came out very cute. And last but not least, this was the most basic one. And this was the Z, Z fold card. So I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think is your favorite? Which one do you think do you like? Out of all three of them. I don't know. I really kind of like this one. <laughs> I don't know. I really like this one. Okay. So let's see, girls. Anything I missed? Great cards. Thanks for the tutorial. Of course. And, of course, next Saturday is going to be our new, new card fold class. Really love how these came out. Thank you, Kendra. The mermaid kisses. Okay, so Tasha is floating for this one, which is the mermaid kisses, starfish wishes. I am voting for this one, which is the happy birthday flowers with the glow in the dark. Um, the girl with the glow in the dark. And then I want to be a mermaid. No, nobody wants the <laughs> mermaid kisses. Okay, so the winner. <laughs> Mermaid kisses, mermaid kisses. Okay, mermaid kisses, starfish wishes. Yay, the winner of our card class. Okay, I got nothing but a big mess. So who wants to come over and help me clean up now? <laughs> okay, so that is it for me. Don't forget, we have the monthly challenge going on, sponsored by Bugaboo. You will find that up in the pin post in the group. We also have our video hop if you have not hopped along with us scrapping for less is our sponsor for that and we have our video hop so please hop along somebody is going to win a gift certificate to the store and i think that is it for now okay so until next time bye bye